Welcome to Cooking with Meadow. So I'm close to Barnett Street. I'm actually on Fustick Road, right in front of a very famous uh, supermarket called Master Mac. And it's one of the discounted supermarkets that a lot of people like to buy from. There's another Chinese retail shop here. But in front of Master Mac, there is a vendor that I usually buy from. Uh, Miss, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi. My name is Hazel Boring. Right. I'm still at the Master Mark Enterprise on Fustic Road. Good. I'm doing this business for 40 years. I'm doing well, successfully. Yes. Only sometime they met your trouble, but we go around them. All right. So and some... work around them. And okay. I sell carrot and onion and Irish and so pine. Art. A lot of local vegetables, mainly. Yes, but not kale. I don't okay, sell cane kale. and jelly. No cane and jelly. By yeah, jelly you yeah. mean uh, it's coconut? It's too hard or too move. Right. To peel and so. So I just use dry coconut okay, and so, skin it. So I'm just curious because you said, for example, that you sell things like carrots. Yeah. These are local, right? So yeah. everything here local. is local except for the garlic. Garlic and foreign onion. The garlic and, and foreign, foreign onions. Irish. Okay. And one is local, Irish. Okay, so which I'm showing you, this is how the foreign one looks. It's actually not as good as in quality as the local. So, so sometimes the price of the local is a little bit more than the foreign one. Mm -hmm. Always. 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 So is it that local expensive more than the foreign? And that's why some people will have to buy the the foreign one even no, though they don't yeah, like it. No, they buy the Jamaican. They buy the Jamaican one. one. Yes, but you know. So if price if, if you had your foreign. way, you would probably prefer to sell only local things or for Say you both, both 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 once it brings in yes, sales it brings in sales all right so okay. out of curiosity what kind of vegetable does like everybody have to buy or what seasoning they mostly depend on onion and irish and carrot and garlic okay, so, and skillet and kind so onion carrots um escalion which is here and you have the Skillet. you have the the white one right now yeah, no, I don't have the red. I don't have the red one here. Right, because this is the white one that comes from St. Elizabeth. The red one is more uh, expensive. expensive. But so it's from St. Elizabeth too. From St. Elizabeth as well. So okay. both of them have the same taste. You know, no, some countries the in the world don't stronger. have the red one. The red one is stronger. Yeah, this, I, I one, realize. But the white one stay longer. Because in Trinidad and even America, they, they have mainly the white one. And they don't know. It's only when I came to Jamaica, I realized that the red one is better. Yeah, the red one yeah. is stronger. Because I don't think More they flavor. introduce that variety over there. Because sometimes, one or two times when I was even without onions, I use the red one, the base of it, and yeah. cut it up and it gives off the strong aroma, just like an onion almost. And make it smooth. Yeah. That so, is the red one. So you have some leaves here too, because uh, some of these are very popular. Cinnamon, Cinnamon leaves. Leaf. So why would Jamaicans for use this for tea? Cinnamon for tea. And you have the Cinnamon. nutmeg. Okay, and then you have nutmeg here. Yeah. A lot of nutmeg because Jamaicans use nutmeg for what? What exactly? Uh, spice, spice, seasoning, mm -hmm. medical. Right, seasoning like they put it in jerk seasoning, isn't it? They right. use that as the pimento and seed and the scotch bonnet. And it's good for your body. Medical. Right. Medical and problem. So that's why a lot of people will buy these too. Good for eyes. It's good for eyes? Eye drop. The, um, the cinnamon. The, the nutmeg. The nutmeg. Yes. Okay, and I see also in terms of herbs here, you have the turmeric and ginger. So ginger and turmeric are very popular uh, because... The, right, so most people who buy the turmeric would probably use it. Ginger good for all sickness. All sickness, all and sickness. a lot of people here use it for tea. Yes, but it's good yeah. for all sickness. All different kind of sickness you have. Right, and you, blood. you also have tomatoes here, and uh, you have callaloo. That's Kalaloo bush, right? Kalaloo there. Right. Okay. So I'm just curious to know, like, uh, how did you start first several years ago in the market? Why did you choose this job? Did you learn it from somebody? Did somebody no, give I you don't the spot? Learn it. I just, you know, I just like selling. You like I selling? I do my own business. Okay. Do okay, my good. own business and so forth. And I know that. I, I, I start, I start, first, I start off with like, small items like shoes polish and brush and mm -hmm. toothbrush and rug and tooth with those before yeah. I start the vegetable. The oh. vegetable go faster. Okay. Um, 
money make faster With than the clothes. Right, because people always want food. They always right. need food. So the food stuff grow faster. Right. You know? Okay. And you, you have uh, kids and grandchildren as well, right? Of you told me. Four kids and yeah. ten grandchildren. Alright, so you're a very proud grandmother because you yes. told me once that you even have a son grandson who's a sprinter, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. So you feed one him with a, all your vegetables that he's healthy and strong. One is a footballer too. And one is a footballer as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what schools are those? Secondary schools that they go no, to? One go Cornwall College. Cornwall College. And one go um, Boy School. Which the one with the sprinter. Boy School, okay. Go Boy School. All right. right. Okay, and you have even uh, red beans here, or what they call red peas, right? Yes, so this is for me, then rice and peas. Yes. But I just want the viewers to look at the quality of local Jamaican uh, potatoes called Irish. Okay, thank you. Thanks thank a lot you. for your time. And Thanks. my number is 899-4254. 899-4254. If you need anything, you can just call. Right, and she's conveniently located close to Barnett Street. You could get her if you're driving by. You can arrange Stop. for curbside pickup because it's very easy to call her and head of time. The, yes, I'm not far in the market. No, she's not far in the market, right? So anyone who wants, you can just drive down um, from probably the let's say Bevin Avenue section behind this is Fustic, Road. Fustic Road right so we're on Fustic Road so we're on Fustic Road okay thank you yes and thank you sure bye so the onions is 300 a pound right now the carrots is 300 as well right yes all local and then you're weighing here the, the sweet pepper so I'm just showing the everybody uh, in the market that vendors don't ever cheat people what they do is they use a scale and you can haggle or quarrel with them if ever the scale is wrong. So just when you come to the market, you know, you get quality, you, you get value for your money. So, so she will wait and make sure, and I could check here to make sure, for example, that I'm ordering one pound, it has to move from the zero to the one. Right, so they don't use the weights, but it's a, a scale that is always set correctly. If you notice here, she has it exactly on the zero. <laughs> Ingredients from her stall are used to make chana alu, chana tofu, chana masala, pepper tofu seen here. See you soon. Chalgayo, firmilenge, kodafis, bye bye.